Good morning. Today is December 21st. It's currently 7.40 a.m. I'm headed to work today. Um, I know it's been forever since I checked in. Quite a bit has changed and I feel like that's both good and bad. Uh, clearly I'm gaining a little bit of weight but still pretty sharp. My uh, gauges are looking nice. I would like to get a few more but it's kind of a hectic time to buy stuff. Um, it's been really, really interesting. I went without work for about four months. I was helping out with family. I did a lot of rental work, helping out my grandma with small things here and there and helping out my dad. Um, and then I got a job offer in the Salinas Valley with an irrigation company. It's a startup company. They've only been established for the last three years in California, but they've been established elsewhere. They have a really bad management problem, um, and I'm starting to notice why they have like a revolving door of um, employees, because for one, they don't pay very high, there's no benefits, and the stress level is extreme. At first, they don't kind of come off as really sweet, and, and it goes well, and then as you get into it, they want you to spend your own money on products for them and then they reimburse you, but there's no guarantee they're gonna reimburse you. And the communication is awful. So I'm learning how to handle that in a management way, but it's kind of a toxic work environment. And I was warned going into it that it, that it more than likely would. There was a lot of red flags, but for some reason I really wanted to push through with this. So I'm gonna give it a couple more months and see. I'm on a contract but it's it's weird because it it has like a 30-day notice where like in, where I can get out of it in 30 days so I think I'm gonna stick with it and just kind of see where it goes and hope it goes well um, but I am really frustrated with it last week I was so stressed it was just awful my hormones are also all off I got my IUD removed about two weeks ago and it has caused a lot of ups and downs I've, I've noticed way more that that is something that it's just it's odd it's weird and my glasses aren't tinted to the right color anymore because I jumped into a swimming pool in in July and because I was so used to wearing them I didn't pay attention I didn't take them off and I totally just jumped in so I gotta get those retinted I have an appointment the 17th of next month to go get um, my eyes reassessed um, I'm excited for that. Esmeralda's coming home with me for the holidays. We had a huge fight last week, and I really thought that was going to be the end of our relationship. Like, it was just very poor word choices, and it just, we just didn't do well. I mean, it really hurt, and I decided that I'm not ready to move in with her. We were planning on getting an apartment together, but there's all these other things that factor into that, because I'm not sure... For one, I want to make sure that she's 100% committed and ready to jump into that if we do get our, our own place. For two, I don't know how work's going to go because they seem very shaky in the irrigation field in general. Like, they don't have all their, their designs aren't to T. They just like, there's all these like little things. And when you, you suggest changes or recommendations and they just shut you down and go you figure it out but we still want you to recommend changes but we're still going to shut you down and that makes it very difficult um, I do have a couple of really good co-workers that I like it's a very very small team there's six of us there's Roy who is the CEO slash general manager there's Tomir uh, well Roy is based out of Israel there's Tomir Tomir is here in the Salinas Valley with me. He is the sales manager and very good at promoting the business, but not very good at all the small things that come together. Uh, there's Michelle, who is the electrical engineer. He's the one that runs all the wiring and makes sure everything's to T. There's Salvador, who's our lead installer. I absolutely adore Salvador. He uh, reminds me a lot of like a grandfather figure, very sweet. Likes it, likes it quiet and peaceful and just wants to work. Um, the problem with that Salvador is having right now is that they're not giving you all the, the puzzle pieces to put the puzzle together. And then they're going, we'll figure it out and then we'll come through and let you know if it's okay or not. And every time you fix it, 
to like you, you create that puzzle that missing puzzle piece they come through and go nope nope doesn't look right take it out we're gonna do something else but you gotta figure it out again so it's like really like it's one of those things like what the fuck um and then we have Juan who is is one of our installers uh, both Juan and Salvador are pretty new to the team. Uh, Juan came in after I arrived and Salvador was there probably a couple more months than me. And I argued for a title because they wanted me to be Roy's personal assistant. And um, they wanted me to do a lot more than just be his personal assistant. So I'm hoping that this job gives me some really good experience on how to handle things better and kind of become more professional in that development. I just don't know how much of that experience that I want. So that's kind of where we're at right now. It's just kind of seeing where the major ups and downs are at this point. It's not a liability on me. It's a liability on them. And I just have to make sure that I'm not buying parts for them. I did notice that the, the kid that was in the position before me, his name is Jared, um, he paid for things out of pocket to help with uh, with this business and like he didn't stop some of the subscriptions and he still got charged for the last eight months of subscriptions and they didn't just create me a new email they gave they changed his name and then put it on put my name in there so I still receive like his emails and things that he has questions with but he's like locked out of the account so it's kind of like I just gotta be a little bit extra careful. I'm getting my, my toes wet, but I'm not going, I'm not jumping fully in. Maybe ankle, ankle deep, but I wanna survive this. So in order to do that, I think I'm gonna have to just take it one day at a time and go a little bit slower. I have been really, really stressed. I don't have my own place right now. I'm hanging out at Grandma Cheney's. I'm doing a lot of work around there to, to help pull my weight. I am helping Aunt Janice out, but again, that's kind of a toxic area. I love them to death, but they are very, very negative and they have a lot going on. They need a lot of love and a lot of support. So I can do what I can, but I can only do so much. Um, Mom's been looking for me. She wants me to come home and this job was supposed to be able to be working remotely, but they don't want me working remotely. Every time I turn around, they want me here in the Salinas Valley. So this week I'm going to stay in the Salinas Valley until Wednesday and then Thursday's Christmas we're going to go up to Grandma Jane's. We're having a really, really small Christmas this year. Um, I think there's only going to be like six of us. So that'll be new, but we'll see how it goes. I'm excited to kind of visit a little bit and just have some quiet time. I'm really excited to sleep in. Um, I didn't sleep very well last night. I did have like a manic episode this morning where I was like super, super happy. But once I got in the car, I got pretty depressed. So I, that that's something that I've also noticed with my hormones being off and being out of color. So hopefully next month when I get my get my lenses, I hope that it that it mellows me out. So I'm just kind of taking it one day at a time. I'm very thankful for the weekends because they make a difference in me being able to just function. Because last week I was so stressed, I couldn't find my computer charger anywhere. Anywhere. It was right in front of me. It was in my bag the whole time. I bought a new charger that I didn't need. And then I was making salad cake because his birthday was yesterday. Uh, I think he's, I think he's, he's late 50s. Uh, he, I asked, I told him I'd make him a cake, so I made him a, uh, A tres leches cake and it turned out pretty good I had it I had a taste to make sure make sure it wasn't poisonous <laughs> um, but I was looking for the knives and they were literally right in front of me in the drawer I did not see them I could not see them so it's getting pretty concerning that I'm getting that stress that I can't see what's in front of me I don't know if that has to do with me not being in my glasses or if that has to do with stress or a combination of both but I think it's gonna become a problem if I can't take care of it so I need to slow down a little bit more and take it one day at a time or even one second and one moment at a time. It's just seeing how all that works out. Um, I'm just, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful for good things. I don't know. 
Here's to my first year in the Salinas Valley. I've been down here for three months now. Three months I've been working. So it's been, the trial period has been very interesting. Yeah, this, I'm going into my third month. So I've been here for two months and I worked all of November with no contract, no possibility of getting paid to December. And then I got paid December 1st because they pay monthly, they don't pay, pay bi-weekly. So that's kind of a thing to get adjusted to too. Um, I'm learning how to manage my money better in a lot of ways um, because I only get one payment. I don't get to like spend as much, but I mean, I still spend quite a bit. But that's also because Christmas is here. Um, Molly's been decent. She's had some ups and downs. She's getting over her boy toy, whatever you want to call him. Mom seems a little bit extra, but mom's always extra. Dad's getting, dad's happy, Zuna's pregnant. He took her up last month to go get knocked up. So she has, she's got puppies right now. They aren't born yet, but you can tell she's starting to swell and bloat. So she's definitely prego. Poor puppy. We'll just have to wait and see what those cute little dogs come out looking like. And then, yeah, Grandma Cheney isn't doing well, very depressed, very quiet, keeps to herself. Um, Jan really, really misses her kids. She'd wish they'd step up a little bit more than what they do. And that's it. So, yeah, here's to a new year coming up. I think Esmeralda and I are going to create a podcast and kind of joke around a little bit. We will have to wait and see what our random topics of our podcast are. All right, have a good day. Bye.